What's up, YouTube? This is Biased in the X of A9. All right, guys, for today's episode of YGO Replay, we're going to be looking at me piloting my updated Incendio deck for the March 2020 format. Guys, if you want to check out the deck profile after finishing watching this video, head over to the Team FTK um, page for that deck profile. Link will be in the description box below. But without further ado, we're going to get right into this. All right. And the first deck up is going to be my Ascensions versus Danger Vunalites. All right, one of the better decks of the meta um, can actually put up some pretty interesting boards. Has some awesome rank four plays in this deck. So it was a very interesting rank four toolbox. Um, I myself see myself the Sideframe Driver, which means he's got the Sideframe Engine in it and the Gate Monster Effects, extra body on the board with Danger Mothman. Um, Ember Bird, which is typically one of these things to your graveyard. Um, in our type, Monster Reborn in Perfume, as well as Reinforcement of Army, the way to get into Armageddon to dump your Kaleida check. All right. For me, I have the Mize of Land, which upon my opponent's special summoning can get me a field spell on my deck onto the field. Um, the field spell for this deck is kind of a wink on in itself, so however, I mentioned Tanky to get me into my other Yusenja monsters. Um, compulsory Evacuation Device to get rid of problematic monsters on the board, as well as bring back a usage of monster on my board if its effects get negated. Trap trick to search out any of my other trap cards. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to set Compulse, Trap Trick, and Demise of the Lands and pass to my opponent. All right, from this, Reinforcement, Armageddon Knight, Dumb Skeleta Check, boom, Perfume brings it back, and the second he brings it back, I flip... My Demise of Land to get into Mystic Mine. Yes. Once Mystic Mine has to feel that this deck is so monster effect dependent, it just basically shuts the deck down. So, all right, Isna Tanky gets into comma two. Comma two, I bring out comma three so I can get a search. Boom, 950 points to the face, which gets me um, Sujik. Both come back, and it's very interesting um, because you're probably thinking, hey, um, he had. The same number of monsters as you. Should your Mystic Mind be popping? And the answer is no, considering that it the effect of Mystic Mind at the base in the end phase, alongside the effects of my Yosenjus, which return to my hand. Um, and because all these effects are activating in the end phase, I choose the order of how they're going to be resolved. Um, so I send a Yosenju monster back to my hand, which then technically puts my Monster count down to one, which basically keeps Mystic Mind on the board and allows me to safely return comma two back to my hand. All right, it's very similar to how you send Jews were able to operate underneath um, the card of the mice. Um, in that particular situation, you 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 would let the mice discard your hand before returning your monsters from the field. This is just the opposite with Mystic Mind. All right. So draws into another Clyde trick, goes into Redoer. I do Trap Trick into another Impermanence. Um, because I know very well this card can bounce itself off the field and bring itself back, um, turn after turn after turn. Um, so I'm going to want to try to keep this card on the field. That's why I'm going to negate it with impermanence. Um, draw into common one. Really, I'm not going to summon that. Now comes coming to negate, redoer. And then, boom, attack. Bounce it back, and he's pretty much trapped at this point. Can't really summon... Um, utilize Gamma in this particular situation because he already has a monster on the field and he is not running Lambda. I mean, which would have been an inch, which would have been a better idea to summon. Um, get another monster on the field, go uh, do Redure into Lambda, and then basically, um, or at least get another monster, go both the monsters into Lambda, and at least then be able to, to slowly build yourself into Redure. Um, this way, you can keep searching out your Gamas to negate monster effects. All right, that would have been a better play in that particular situation. Um, he has Metal Falls Fusion for an additional draw. All right, since it's a graveyard, Pot of Extravagance shows his face. Finish the top five. I get a quick Mirror Force, which flips monsters face down when they attack. Another Demise of the Land in case they do out my Mystic Mine, which is pretty awesome. All right. I lose Cerberus, Unicorn, Cowboy, Emerald, Castell, and Lightning, which is the other win con for the deck. All right. Not bad. I can still deal. But I'm not going to summon anything because I know Redo is going to get bounce off the, off the field. Draws into a Tiger. 
at the Tiger since driving to the. All right, so it's pretty much standing right now. It's just gonna be us bouncing back and forth, sending cards to the graveyard after our turns. He's looking for an out. I'm just gonna set cards to the back row. All right, he summons out Tanky, searches out another Tiger, and phase. Trap trick gives him my hand, pass it into him. Foolish burial goes to send um, Metal Foes Fusion, and then he real probably realizes that after searching the deck, he has no outs, and surrenders. All right. All right, we're going to come down over here. Pause. All right, so it's me versus it's, it's my Ascensions versus Gladiator Beast, and this is including a lot of the newer stuff um, that was released. We have Comeback, which is basically the Gladiator Beast version of Monster Reborn. He's got Beastiari. He's got Instant Fusion. I mean, he's got a Tenny in the, the shooter in the hand, which is a pretty good monster to summon to get additional monsters on the field, so he can build into his link plays. Myself, I got comma three Tanky to get into comma two Training Grounds to basically get additional searches. Mine to shut him down. All right, so what I'm going to do is just basically tanky into comma two and pass. All right. BCR Vishuda into Test Panther. Test Panther gets him the um, Gladiatrix. Um, he's got Augustus in his hand. He's got Comeback. So he's going to use Comeback to bring back BCR. Boom. That's going to basically ta allow him to tag out into another Augustus. Augustus brings out the Gladiatrix. Sticking on Link off in this point. Or actually, Fusion off. Boom, 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 for Tamer Editor, which is going to then bring out Dominatus. All right? And then he's going to swing into me pretty hard. He's going to leave me with 1,300 light points. And that's the end of the turn. Um, Dominatus basically negates monster effects. Um, so if I do summon without activating mine first, I'm pretty much playing into his hands. Right, Isna, mine comes out, training ground, boom, comma two, as well as Isna to get an additional draw, poke for 950, and return both monsters to the field, from the field to the hand. And it's basically going to be bounced back and forth with me basically doing comma and Isna, getting an additional search off of, um, getting an additional draw, the demise of land, and a search for secret move. Poke for another 900, and boom. Links off in the Unicorn, can't really do anything with that. I right, swap out the Mystic Minds, set the Compulsive Array, poke for another 950, and I'm going to continue this way. All right, summons this, goes into Appaloosa, but it realizes he still has too many monsters in the field, can't really do anything because I have um, Mystic Mind up and surrenders. Right. Well, I'm going to go right into the next one. This one's actually pretty cool. This is going to be Yosenju's versus Cyber Dragon. All right. So basically, it's basically set both compulsory area evacuation to buy some land, summon comma two to get a counter on training grounds, and basically bounce back to hand. Desires. Draw two. Out comes Amirage. Searches out the Galaxy Soldiers. And stuff to the graveyard. Boom, boom. The second he summons another one. Out comes Mystic Mind. Goes into the Infinity, but can't really do anything. He has in Perma on the board. Um, she, she's going to try to negate my um, comma two during my end phase, but I have a response to that already. Trap trick gets set. Poke, go to return, he negates the perm, I bounce back. And right now I have Trap Trick set. He goes into Atacana, thinking of leaving a small monster on the board. Use Trap Trick to basically grab a Quaking Mirror Force. I'm um, thinking that he, he's going to bait me out with a small monster um, just to shut me down. Permanence comes out. Training ground allows me to get negated by Ash, but I still have the poke for 900. 
back to the hand. All right, continue going. Tenki, so Chao, Kadama, Kadama, tributing off, getting additional counters, can get additional Momo summon, more searching. Secret move goes on the field, boom, and 950 hit, bounce back. And then he basically gets Cybernetic Overflow, sets hers. I um, can't really do anything right there. Again, this is going to be another poke, another large search. Bounce back, and after I get my monster off the field, he flips Overflow, which basically clears off my Imperm. Um, at my my mind and my um, secret move. Just leave my quaking mirror for us right there. All right, core such as another thing, a seeker. All right, Anaconda sends um, overload fusion, which allows him to basically call out rampage Rickon, And from the, at this point, he's got game. I mean, he's going to basically utilize Seeger to power boost this up by, by 2100, and he's basically going to pop the remaining, at least two of my remaining cards um, off the field and be able to swing into me um, for game at this point. Bam, bam. Seeger, power boost, bam. Attacks, attacks, GG. He's got it. So, yeah, Cyber Dragon, OTK. Um, Overflow is a damn powerful card um, against back row heavy decks. Um... But awesome win for the Cyber Dragon player. All right. All right. Now, this deck, particularly, and this matchup, really had me excited. We're playing against Master Rule 5, as you saw. Um, but it's going to be Mario Sinches versus his Gladiator. I mean, his, his Gladiator. I call it Gladiator to this guy, but it's actually Black Wings. And yeah, it's, his starting hand is actually pretty good. Um. Got Ash Blossom to negate searches, uh, Black Rowan, which can net him additional Black Wings on the board. He's got Master Reborn in hand to bring back other cards, um, so he can continue to extend um, a free extra body and um, Gladius. So it's not a bad deck. Uh, bad hand for Black Wings at all. Um, Kadama, which adds counters onto my training grounds. Tanky to search out my combo too. Mine to shut things down. And in case he negates uh, my Osenjus to bounce things ca cards off the field with Compulsory. So, pretty good hands for both of us. Um, Black Whirlwind gets a um, Gale, Boom, Gladius. Goes into um, y Strix, Zephyrus the Elite. Alright, so he basically searches out um, another board of the Sphere. Um, at this point, he's got Monster Reborn in hand. Um, now, this is the thing that I am really questioning right now. Um, basically because just seeing these two cards it has me thinking about what else he has in this deck. Um, and I'm going to keep going into this. Soul, so, the second I see um, Soul Shade Forest, I automatically know he's going to go into the Samor King um, and then bring this Four Tricks back to be able to go into um, Infinity. Um, to be very honest, at this point, I would actually be activating Monster Reborn myself to bring back, um, probably Krista Cracker Gohan, get it on the field, get Bora on this field, um, go into the Samorg Link, um, then go into Union Carrier to set up the infinite, um, the Gate Loops, which is an insanely strong opening board, especially for Black Wings. Um, and especially when you back it up with an infinity. Um, more King, Life Shaver, um, into Infinity, which, all right, but he doesn't go in for the, because he didn't extend enough, he couldn't get out, um, the Union Carrier to get the Thunderbirds equipped onto this, and then the Apex Avian, so instead he brings out Stormwinds, um, Barrier Statues, it's a good stun card, but it actually hurts his deck a little bit more, because it prevents him from summoning out um, his Black Wings, um, which, yeah, I'm kind of questioning at this point. All right, so right now I have a tanky search, which I'm going to use to bait out the, um, Ash Blossom. I figure he probably had an Ash Blossom in hand. Um, I, I he already has more monsters than me, so mine's going to come out on the field. He doesn't have any, um, but 
the thing about it is that you got to be careful because he's going to negate. So I have to bait out probably a negate in hand as well as negate in the field, which I do. Tanky, Ash Blast, Ash, so no problem there. Um, in hindsight, I should have really sent out common one so I can keep common two so I can continuously poke him. Um, negates my comma two, sends it to the graveyard. Mine comes out and I set the compulse. All right, so not a bad thing. Um, going to summon, going to go after this barrier statue, bounce it back to the hand, draws into his first Solemn Judgment. Okay, so again, I summon out a Yusinjo monster. He's got a negate on board, which he could basically negate and send my card to the graveyard, um, basically preventing me from possibly swinging over his monsters. Um, surprised he doesn't use it. Um, my thoughts is that since he didn't use it, he's probably trying to preserve his life points, but still, keeping a monster off my board, and he draws into a solemn warning, I mean, set the compulsory end phase. Bouncing back and forth so we can build resources. Gets another Samoon in his hand. Sets the other Black Whirlwind. Which is really sad because right now he doesn't have Stormwind. Which he can actually just flip this card up. Normal Summon out. Um, Bora get double searches. And be able to potentially build into a Synchro. Um, to, to help protect his life points. I mean... I, mean, I know he can't, can't attack. But still there's got to be some sort of outs in the deck for mine, and just being able to build into a board that gives you an additional synchro, or at least additional buy that can protect your life points, kind of useful in this particular situation. Um, training grounds, at this point I'm just going to start building counters, um, and just bouncing things back. Alright, Allure, double Allure, and he basically gets into another Judgment. Um, he's got Call by the Grave, he's got Steam the Cloak, again, he can summon Special, um, he will, probably won't be able to search much, but again, if he normal sum, flips this over, normal summons, he can get more monsters on the board, so, mm -hmm. All right, again, summon, more tokens, or counters on the training ground. At this point right here, I mean, he figures he doesn't have a play, even though he could potentially go into a uh, level 8 synchro at this point. Um, I mean, Steam plus Harmatin, and Harmatin basically takes on the level, which puts us up to level 5. 5 plus 3 is a level 8 Synchro. So, unless he's not running a level 8. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of weird. I mean... All right, we're going to come over here. Now, this deck is actually going to turn around. Now, let's pause. Let's play... All right, this deck is actually going to be um, Noble Knight deck, but it's going to be utilizing a uh, Warrior Engine to get monsters on the board to get into his in old plays. Um, so I'll just go forward. All right, so basically pretty standard at this point. Um, summons out junk forward. Out comes Vian, Vian gets Bally into the graveyard. Butter Spy also comes out. Um, so he's got potentially four uh, monsters on the board. He's going to use Mali to get an additional Mali on the board. Link off into Izzold. Izzold searches out Guy Phoenix Gearfree, which is a pretty nasty boss monster in this deck, um, especially with all the equips. Um, that Noble Knight's run, he is running a 60-card variant. But continue on. Sends the four cards, gets Boars. Boars is going to basically get... Um, more certain stuff into the graveyard. No one like Glory of the Noble Knights. So he's going to get searches. He's going to search for uh, once needed again. Noble Arms once needed again. Same thing. One in the graveyard. He's got Dorndal on the ground. I mean, on the on the field, excuse me. And allows him to search by sending a card to the graveyard. Mally comes out. Boom. Appaloosa. Appaloosa. Dweller with a once needed again on the board. It's a pretty nasty board because it has shutdown graveyard effects and as well as monster negates. So, yeah. 
But, of course, I have Mystic Mind in hand. I have my poker. I got my card to gain counters with. All right. So, there we go. Boom. Kadama has counters. Counters will turn around and allow me to search out um, Isna. At this point, can't wait. Normal summon, but not going to worry about it. It's pretty much trapped. This is back to me. Out comes Kama 2 to poke. Back to the ring. All right. He's going to normal arms out a, another normal knight. Set demise a land. All right. Gain encounters. Gain encounters. Boom. Get additional search. All right. Bounce. Bounce. Close the Boral Sword. Two, mo two cards set, and then he realizes that he's not going to be able to do anything because he has no monsters on the board to turn into defense position, and with Mystic Mine up, yeah, I pretty much have him right there. So, And last but not least... It is Yosenju's versus Dark Magicians. This is going to be a damn awesome duel. Um, I had a lot of fun with this duel. Um, a lot of back and forth with this particular duel. Can't really figure out who's going to win until it happens. Dude opens up with Super Poly, the quick play fusion slash ritual spell that came out in... Uh, Legend, uh, what is it? Magical Heroes, and he opens up with double sound judgment. <laughs> yeah, hard hit a playthrough, but I have Trap Trick, um, Demise of the Land, Quickie Mirror Force, and I got Comma 2, so I'm pretty set myself. So basically, Kodama goes to absorb attacks. I set three cards to my back row, and I'm just gonna wait for him. And he top decks into a third sound judgment. I mean, it's just wow. All right, so he basically sets um, everything onto the board to discard. So probably get out his Apprentice Illusions Magician. Since he's special summonings, that's going to triple off my Demise in the Land. Well, I'm going to do Trap Trick first. I'm going to get a Compulse there. Mystic Mind's up. All right. Bounce his card off the field. I have one monster, so he can activate monster effects by his flip. And he uses Solemn Judgment. And then now comes Kama. He Solemn Judges that. And... No monsters on the board, so yeah. From there, he can pretty much swing at me. They use Quick and Mirror Force. He uses the Quick Play Fusion, and that flips the Fusion Monster face down. I draw into a Tenki. Out comes mine. Tenki searches out Kama 2, so I can continue poking, but he negates the summon. And it's pretty much setting up that in. From here, we're just going to be drawing until we get the resources. Still drawing, still drawing, and then finally he gets into Soul Serpents, which is going to be able to turn around and search him out the Dark Magic Circle. Which he then is able to play and add one to the hand, and he sets a Super Poly training, comes out. I, I start building out counters on my training grounds. All right, Dark Magic Circle, and Eter Eternal Soul gets set, so yeah. Another comes out, gets a comma, and then basically I spoke, and he goes into Dark Magician, which banishes my monster. Ugh. Eternal Soul brings out another Dark Magician, which basically gets very much to mine, and then he proceeds to swing into me hard for 5,000 points of damage. Super Poly comes out for the Predator Plant, which basically hit, leaves me with 300. All right, so basically I got 300, he's got 1,000. Um, I got in Perm. He's got multiple Dark Magicians um, on board. Um, lucky for me, I do have Kadam, Kadam in my graveyard, which I can banish to get an additional normal summon, because what he's going to do, he's going to use Eternal Soul to get out that third Dark Magician and banish whatever I normal summon. Cloud comes coming three. Boom. Put a planet in the gates. And then Kadama, additional normal summon. Banishes my monster. Boom. 
tokens. Gets two monsters on the board. I get to search out. But I go into my um, alternate wing com, which is Utopia to Lightning, and bam, pff, swing into them for a game. And yeah, that was pretty intense. Um, but still, that back and forth really does help. Um, so guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Vigero Replay. I had an insane amount of fun playing this deck against all these decks. Um, just to give them back and forth of this deck really can give um, makes it extremely fun to play. I know a lot of players don't like seeing mine being dropped against them. Mine's going to be mine, and it's going to be utilized to help get wins for decks that might have problems. But still, Yosenjo's still a very awesome deck, and they're very frightful um, to your opponent if they don't know what to expect in it. All right, guys, as always, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this on my channel, make sure to subscribe, enable notifications so you don't miss any uploads. Again, if you want to see the deck profile for this video, the, the, the link for the video is going to be in the description box um, below. It's on the Team FTK site, so check it out. Um, also in the description box, Find the invite link to my Discord server. Join the conversation. We'll love to have you. Follow me on social media. And if you guys shop on TCG Player, consider using my TCG Player affiliate link um, just to help out the channel and grow it a little bit better. All right, guys. As always, until next time, peace.